Welcome, Gemini. This is going to be your singles love reading. Okay, wow, first uh, September. All right, we have the Ace of Wands and the Knight, Nine of Swords. Usually the Ace of Wands does represent, or it does represent new beginnings in love. There's attraction, spark, adventure, chemistry. Um, we also have this Nine of Swords though with this Ten of Wands. So you may be releasing something here or walking away. This is interesting because the Nine of Swords is a lot of conflict or anxiety or feeling worried or losing sleep over someone here or something here or situation. If this isn't you, this could be this other person. And then we do have the Eight of Cups, which does represent walking away or going in a new direction. So let's get more into this. Yeah, we have, oh, what's this? It's all dirty. Sorry, guys. We have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups. The challenge is Five of Wands. Not seeing eye to eye with somebody here. There could be an argument, a fight, some uh, blockages. Okay. Something looked like a stable offer here, but now it's kind of causing a bit of confusion. What is going on? What is going on? Um, you're very intuitive. I love how we have the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces or have water in your chart. Either way, this is an energy that can fill energy shifts. You're very highly sensitive when it comes to energies. And I feel you're, you're feeling something shifting as it's more of pushing you into a new direction because there's conflict in the mind. This person can, could have other energies with that Three of Cups. Okay, and there could be some competition for some. We have the Wheel of Fortune, so we're going to go ahead and clarify this, get more into that in just a moment. And the Eight of Pentacles is saying that somebody is wanting to put in the effort. But then we have the star in the, in the near future, which is saying healing, a renewal. Um, what else is this? Sorry. Healing, renewal, wish fulfillments. Um, faith two of swords something's feeling stagnant there is a bit of confusion and delays and we do have this knight of cups with the four of cups i feel like you're becoming unsatisfied on how this person handles things let's clarify now because it does show that there is a challenge let's get into this three of cups energy see what's going on with them What? We have the tower. That's something unexpected, shocking, possible chaos, and three of pentacles. Hmm. The emperor. Let's get more in here. The queen of swords. This is you speaking your truth, being direct in communication. We do have this ten of pentacles in the reverse. And I love how you have the queen of swords because there's no lying to you yourself at all. This is you being confident within yourself. You seeing the truth. Your mind is clear. Okay. Whatever this tower is, is coming in their energy. It could be affecting the situation or could have the tower could happen with you guys. Either way, it's unexpected. It does bring something like the tower does crash down when it's here and it's because of something shocking, unexpected. Um, and it reveals the truth of something, okay? Again, this is clear communication, seeking the truth with the Queen of Swords. Let's get this Five of Wands. What's the challenge here? The Three of Wands. Yeah, this is causing delays, whatever this is, and the challenge. Two of Pentacles going in and out when with this offer. Two of Pentacles is more of something that somebody's feeling out of balance. Something feels out of balance. Maybe there's lacking here. Seven of Wands. There is a need to like set some healthy boundaries for yourself in the past, which I feel that you did. You maybe have let down your boundaries a little bit to let this person in because the offer seemed, you know, promising in a way. But now that we have delays in this tower, something definitely unexpected is going on the queen of wands someone could be in a karmic cycle with somebody here you guys okay the two of swords someone that they uh, are indecisive about there could be a third party situation here 
which is causing a divine intervention. Somebody here when it, okay. Somebody here with that King of Cups, strong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, so very strong emotional bond. They have a hard time walking away from these this situation i feel that they are dealing with a third party situation they have a hard time walking away with that and with you there is something that needs to be released for this to continue um with your situation but i feel that there is another energy involved for some not all um to where it's making this person come up as like switching emotions a lot like not you know it's like they're not uh they, they look distracted or they're not interested you know, it, it, it's it's a bit of immaturity on how this person is handling it. And I feel like that's why you're you're like, mm, I'm kind of irritable with this. Um, this is interesting. It does look like this uh, Ace of Wands is coming in with the Knight of Cups. Very, very awesome to see this. Whatever is going on, I feel like somebody has a hard time walking away and it does look like a new beginning is coming in with that Ace of Wands, okay? Something's starting up. It's very nice here. I don't know what is going on with this person. Maybe there was something tied to this energy. We're gonna find out more in the confessions and what this person has to say. But with this Knight of Cups, this is somebody coming towards you. This is someone that wants to come towards you, who's gaining emotions, who wants to, you know, tell you how they feel. They want to express how they feel in their actions and in their words. The Ace of Wands is saying this is a new beginning. This is something that can be very exciting. Um, and the Star is saying there's healing and a renewal within a situation. We also have that Three of Pentacles coming in once again. And the outcome, it feels like there's something still stagnant or a needing to make a choice, especially with that two of swords. There's a sense of feeling indecisive. So even though it's like, if there is a third party situation or somebody else involved, it's like you're protecting yourself because you're not wanting to fall so much in love with this person or so in deep with this person. And if you have already, I feel like you're pulling back your emotions or you're keeping your, you know, you're, you're being a bit cautious, more logical than emotional. Okay. And it's because it's not like you're not wanting to get hurt in the end. So I feel like you're playing it very smart, but it feels like this person is, it is very indecisive, but now in the outcome, they are feeling like they are needing to make a move after things have been stagnant. They do have the tower moment in their energy. So something is happening in their energy right now, which could be affecting you as to why maybe they dissed themselves or they withdraw themselves um, here, which is causing you a lot of confusion and which is causing delays. But I feel that this person is coming in, but it may be a feeling of like, I don't know, should I take this cup or not, this offer or not, but it's something here with the sun and the lovers, it's all about the, a choice. So yes, this is actually really interesting. I feel like somebody here, could be you or this person, is letting go of something else, releasing a burden here, because they know it's causing conflict and there's a chance to lose you. So even though this person may, you know, had other energies involved, it does look like that somebody is coming in towards you to offer you a cup here, okay? And it's a lot of positive days ahead, so there is a choice coming in with this Knight of Cups, okay? Wow, interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the divinely guided messages here. Unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. This is what they have to say to you. Guilty. Inseparable. I feel the pain from the damage I have caused. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Absence. No doubt that this person really, really does like you a lot, love you, even gaining strong emotions for you. But it does look like a new beginning is coming in and somebody here is um, possibly leaving another connection. Is it for good? I, I, I feel like it is because of that tower. Um, and whatever is coming in, this decision is needing to be made because there's a sense of you wanting to walk away or detaching your emotions. This person is seeing your name everywhere. And I want you next to me. 
our connection is special you mean the world to me i'm not good enough for you so there's like a sense of this person feeling that way i'm waiting for you to reach out that could be from their guilt too from whatever they did you know okay let's see friends relationship so this could be like a friendship leading into a relationship commitment partner boyfriend girlfriend acquaintances trust support and loyalty okay so that's what's coming in for you guys there wow i love i feel like with that ace of cups though there is a lot of emotions but you also have a lot of self-love here gemini okay um but you're super intuitive like you can feel like something's not right some their patterns a bit off or they're getting a bit distant like what is going on oh look at the towers here in this reading too i mean in these these cards it says where there is ruin there is hope for a treasure rough time good outcome everything will work out okay can you believe this like what what I'm not this hair. I'm not this skin. I am the soul that lives within. Beneath the surface, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> okay, so there's your messages there. Very interesting reading, especially with that Two of Swords. I mean, Two of Swords is like, I need to make a move. You know, I need to make a move. My beloved, through we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change oh look at this um we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads embrace through each other you find the missing pieces oh this is so awesome i mean a bit chaotic but it feels like somebody something is coming in it's a new found of emotion it's new feelings it's a new beginning it's adventurous it's exciting there's flirtation there's attraction there's chemistry and there's an emotional offer okay someone really has emotions for you here and they cannot deny that all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for you i hope this message helped i hope it brought clarity and if it did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys for your bonus and general readings for September. God bless.